Buscanians, and Salesian educators, let us all stand and join the DBS Chorale in the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Panatang makabayan, iniibig ko ang Pilipinas, aking lupang sinilangan, tahanan ng aking lahi. Kinukup ko pa ko at tinutulungang maging malakas, masipag at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, diringgin ko ang payo ng aking mga magulang, susundin ko ang tuntunin ng paaralan, tutuparin ko ang tungkulin ng isang mamamayang makabayan, Naglilingkod, nag-aaral, nagdarasal ng buong katapatan. Iaalay ko ang aking buhay, pangarap, pagsisikap sa bansang Pilipinas. Let us recite the vision, mission, respect pack, and the Bosconian profile. Vision. In the spirit and style of St. John Bosco and St. Mary Mozzarella, we form good Christians and honest citizens. Mission. As an academic, Filipino, Catholic, and Salesian educating community, we ensure the holistic formation of the human person using religion as the basis for education through the preventive system of education. We accompany young people, especially those affected by different forms of poverty, to recognize their Christian vocation and in joyful service commit themselves to the common good. Respect pa. As a Busconian, I promise to respect myself and others. Treat others with love and kindness. Strive to make my words and actions good, kind, honest, courteous, and fair in order to help your environment of peace in my school, home, community, and online. Busconian profile for the month of November. A Busconian is honest, sincere, and able to stand for the truth. For this morning prayer for all those who work for the poor, especially the congregations founded by St. Luigi Guanella, the servants of charity and daughters of St. Mary of Divine Providence. May the Lord sustain them in their mission among the poor and grant them holiness of life like that of their founder. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For, for we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, he brought the glory of his resurrection to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To assist the favorites of providence, the incurable, the abundant, the aged, the physically and mentally handicapped, orphaned and needy children, Father Luigi Guanala lived a life dedicated to charity from a special grace in childhood when he felt the call to care for the poor and the disabled. Father Guanella's work has grown to a healthy blossoming tree comprised of his religious followers, who today still shelter the most vulnerable members of our society. At his death in 1915, many doubted that his works could continue. He replied that the work was God's work and that he who brought into existence these people and works will also be able to continue them. Father Guanella believed, spoke, and acted on the truth that the heart of a Christian who believes and feels cannot pass by the hardships and deprivations of the poor without helping them. His entire life proclaimed the gospel message. As long as you did it to one of these least brethren of mine, you did it to me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. When the Son of Man comes in His glory, and all the angels with Him, He will sit upon His glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before Him. And He will separate them one from another. As a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats, He will place the sheep on His right and the goats on His left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill, and in prison, and you did not care for me.
then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or ill, or in prison, and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And this will go off the eternal punishment, but the righteous the eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Let us take this moment of silence to ponder on God's word. In this gospel, the Lord asks us to give food and drink to Jesus and those who are hungry and thirsty, to clothe Jesus and those who are naked, to visit Jesus and those who are sick and in jail. Whether we realize it or not, every time we spontaneously take care of a brother or sister in need, it is Jesus himself we are serving. An important point to remember is, He did it to me, not for me. Jesus identifies himself especially with the person in need. Every time we neglect to help a brother or sister in need, we neglect Jesus himself. Let us not forget to reach out to others as we are asked to. Prayer to St. Luigi Guanella O St. Luigi Guanella, Apostle of Charity, who spread the treasures of your heart to the poor and suffering, whom you dearly love in a world filled with hatred and selfishness. Obtain for us from divine providence an ever-increasing love of God and our neighbor. Obtain for us also the favor we are now asking for. And the grace of final perseverance. Amen. Confident in God's providence, like St. Luigi Guanella, we now call on God, our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Entrustment of the Home to Mary, Help of Christians Most Holy Virgin Mary, appointed by God to be the help of Christians, we choose you as the mother and protectress of our home. We ask you to favor us with your powerful protection. Preserve our home from every danger, from fire, flood, lightning, storm, earthquake, thieves, vandals, and from every other danger. Bless us, protect us, defend us. Keep us your own, all the people who dwell in this home. Protect them from all accidents, sickness, especially COVID-19, and misfortunes. But above all, obtain for them the most important grace of avoiding sin. Mary, help of Christians, pray for all those who live in this home, which is entrusted to you for all time. Amen. St. Luigi Guanella Pray for us Mary, help of Christians Pray for us In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen It's almost half break and I'm done with my performance task. What can we watch? Wait, I think Fatima just downloaded the movie. 
Right, Fatima? You mentioned it to me a few days ago. Yes, I downloaded the movie, but guys, I actually have something better. My squad made a comic strip using Pixel app, did voice acting, and made a video out of that. Really? Then, they must be inspired by Blessed Carlo Acutis, the patron saint of the internet and cyber apostle of the Eucharist. Such a cool saint, a gamer, a computer genius, and a lover of the Eucharist and of the poor. Cool indeed! I hope our fellow Buscanians will imitate him, especially that we're having an online classes. But the video that I will show to you guys is all about our class saint, Saint Luigi Guanella. It's called Saint Guanella's Biopic. It is not really a biographical movie, but originally a biographical comic strip. Wait, just let me share my screen so that we can watch it together. Good morning, everyone. A new student just arrived. Go introduce yourself, Luigi. Hello, everyone. My name is Luigi Guanella. I was born on December 9, 1842. I have 12 more siblings, and I am the ninth of the 13. My parents are Lawrence and Maria Guanella. I came from a poor family, but we are respected and devoted to our religious beliefs. Nice to meet you all. For today's activity, we will have some sharing. You will share when you had your first Holy Communion and share some experiences when you felt Jesus or Mary was present in your life. Let's start with you then, Luigi. I got my first Holy Communion when I was nine. One day, on my way back from the church, I went to my grandfather's home. To avoid being distracted, I started to pray when something extraordinary happened. I saw the Blessed Virgin Mary and she talked to me. That's an amazing story, Luigi. Looks like it's time already. Let's continue the sharing next time. Months had passed. I just got my grades. English, A. Science, A. All are A's except for math. Ah, oh, why is math so hard? I better study this more. Luigi, this is for you. What is this? A scholarship? I got A scholarship? Is this real? It is real. After all the hard work, I conquered math. Finally, I could study to become a priest. Since childhood, Luigi had a great faith and constant love for work and a big charity for the poor. Many of his family and hometown people had to immigrate to America in search of work. Luigi studied to become a diocesan priest and was ordained in 1866. He was impressed by Don Bosco's retreat in Bergamo that after his ordination, he visited him in Turin. He is an amazing preacher. I want to visit him someday. Since he was a diocesan priest, Don Luigi Guanella had to enter as a novice of the Society of St. Francis of Sales in 1875. In Turin, he became the director of the Oratory of St. Luigi of Youths and he started writing Catholic readings. He again opened a school for poor children in 1881, but the anti-Catholic Masons forced him to close it. Father Luigi, what will we do now? Our school was forced to close down. We have no place to learn. Why would they do such cruel things? What must we do now, Father? I will find a way. Father Luigi was given a parish at Pianello Lario. He founded an orphanage and a nursing home for the elderly and handicapped, which he named the Little House of Divine Providence, in homage of Reverend Cotolengo, Luigi's role model. I have a lot of things to share with them. It will be such an honor to take care of them. Jesus is in the face of the poor and the different evil. I am glad that you are willing to give your life to the most vulnerable. I cannot express my gratitude in words, Father Luigi, but I am very thankful for the things that you have done for all of us. Your kindness, generosity, and charity are what makes you loved by everyone. You have a heart like Jesus. I hope I can learn to have a closer relationship with God, just like you do. 
All the work that I have done is all in God's will. I entrust my work to Him because He is the one who encourages me to do all these things. He did well in his preaching, catechism classes, secretarial works, vocation promotion, and later as rector of Trinita in the Diocese of Mondova when his bishop ordered him to go back to his parish. You must go back to your parish. I obey. I trust in divine providence. God be with you, Father Luigi. Increase my faith, O Lord. I feel deep down inside me that divine providence is calling me to Turin. It will be as God wills. I hope that all will turn out well. In 1878, he returned to his diocese. In 1888, after Don Bosco's death, Don Buonella wrote to Don Rua. I want to record my immense attachment to Don Bosco. Certainly, leaving him was like leaving a home. There, I had the example of so many virtues and the spiritual direction of Don Bosco, who did so much good to all. Don Bosco's heart was like a magnet which drew all to himself. His words, few and well pondered, were as lightning flashes to the mind. My eternal gratitude to Don Bosco and his words. During Father Guanella's lifetime, Italy was in a state of political unrest. Numerous laws were passed by the anti-clerics and socialists, restricting and suppressing the works of the church. In 1890, he took care of 200 children and called his helpers the Daughters of St. Mary of Providence. As of today, the order has over 100 homes and 1,200 religious sisters, and their community was approved in 1917 by the Holy See. He also founded the Servants of Charity, which started when Don Guanella took vocations and sent some persons to various seminars in Italy. It has over 500 members and over 50 houses. He went to U.S. with Italian immigrants to extend his mission and preach the Word of God. I am planning to go to the U.S. and I will bring some people with me. Who wants to volunteer? I thought the U.S. is still experiencing political issues. Yes, there are ongoing problems that they are still dealing with, but we are still going there despite how hard it will be to enter the country. We will spread the word of God. In 1913, he founded the Confraternity of St. Joseph for the Sick. Lord, please have mercy on me. Heal me. I don't want to die yet. Don't worry. God sent me to heal you, my friend. But we are uncurable. We can never be treated. Trust in God's healing and providence. In his daily life, Father Guanella had the greatest devotion to St. Joseph. I just want to remind you that St. Joseph is the administrator of all our homes. All superiors must have the love and care of St. Joseph as well as the kindness and gentleness of Mary in dealing with our poor brothers and sisters. Yes, Father Luigi. One day, as was his habit, he was seen with his head down at the train station. This train is taking too long to arrive. Hey, mister, you know Luigi Guadalajara. I have heard that he was to talk to the town today because of this works. What do you say? Is he crazy or what? It's just so unbelievable that he can kill people. What do you think? I think he's crazy. But sincere humility for a person so close to God. His love and care had no limit. His dear impaired people were assisted to the very end. When he was home, it was his duty to give blessing for the dying. His motto was, let us give them bread and paradise. And this was implanted in the hearts of all his nuns and priests. In 1913, he founded the Confraternity of St. Joseph, whose apostolate is to pray for the dying. To those asking how he was able to open so many houses, his answer was, It is God who does it. His faith in God's providence was the secret of success. Luigi's apostolate was in the field of charity and youth, and opened all kinds of schools. 
he was devoted to Mary. He went to Switzerland to reclaim his word and writing the Catholic faith. He wrote many booklets on faith, religion, and history. Like other religious contemporaries, in 1912, he went to America to help the immigrants and war refugees. For his big heart towards the war refugees, he received a gold medal from the authorities in Como. In 1915, Father Guanella had a stroke and was incapable of movement or speech. All the priests and nuns assisted him with prayers. The future blessed Father Orione, the founder of religious congregations, came to visit his friend, Father Guanella. The two holy priests had a private meeting, and when Father Orione ended his visit, he said, The saint is dying. On October 24, 1915, Father Guanella died while invoking God and paradise. All the citizens of Como came to the Sacred Heart Church, visit his exposed body, and to pray. His privileged people provided a constant presence around his body, praying tearfully. The news of the death of the father of the poor traveled throughout Italy. The funeral was, as Father Guanella desired, simple and modest. His spiritual sons and daughters, in their sorrow, were consoled recalling that they had asked Father Luis Guanella earlier, who will take over after him? The smiling Father Guanella answered, It is God who works. Wow, that's a really nice movie. True, and also, I have learned so many things about the life of St. Luis de Guanella. Ka- I- what? Fatima? I don't understand you! Earth to Fatima. Oh my! Sorry guys, my internet is so laggy. So anyways, what did you learn about the life of St. Luigi Manala? Compassion and love for our brothers and sisters. No one is missing. Everyone is the family. Oh, cool! Wait! Let's watch this spoken word poetry. It is also all about Don Vanilla. Really? All right. Let's watch that spoken word poetry. Then, just can you tell it me? Mga tanong ng pandemic, mga sagot ng pag-ibig. Maraming tanong ang iniwan ng pandemic. Sabi nga ni Papa Francisco, tayo magnili at manahimo. Masasagot ba lamang ito ng panaliliksik? Tumugon tayo sa pagtulong ng walang paggabi. May mata, kamay, paa, at pandinig itong pag Hindi lumilimot, hindi nagmamadhid, laging may malasakit. Nung ako ba'y nagugutom, pinakain mo ko? Nung ako ba'y walang damit at magirhan, kinanlong mo ko? Nung ako'y may sakit, nakakulong, meron bang pagtulong? Sino ba ang aking kapwa? Sagutin mo itong tanong. Siya ay may pangalan at muka. Tinitigna? Ngunit hindi nakikita itong dukha. Maraming tanong na iniwan ang pandemya. Marami rin sagot ang pag-ibig. Kumaparaan ang pagmamahal, hindi tumitigil kahit napapagal. Mas malakas pa sa virus kung pumalat. Laging may kalina at malasabit para sa mga salam. Sa pandemyang kinakaharap ngayon, may pagkasang taglayan kahit na anong pagtulong. Iba-iba man ang ating mga bangka, iisa ang banta ng sigwa. Walang kami, walang kayo, kundi ang bagong tayo. May pag-asa at lakas dahil sa Diyos na buhay at totoo. At siya ay nasa mga mata, kamay, paa, at pandinig mo. Wow! This is so amazing! And the effort, it's so beautiful. In this time of pandemic, they literally made that one. It's super good. Doing that is amazing. I really respect them for that. Guys, I need to go already. Sure, Nathaniel. Bye. Stay safe. 
Bye, Nathaniel. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Lana, do you have any song recommendations for me? Oh, yeah. I have one. Let's sing it together. Are you down? Yeah, sure. Let's get it. One, two, three. Break it down, yo. Do you see these children on the streets? Have you walked the pavements where they sleep? Do you feel their hands when you give them alms? Did you ever give them bread to eat? Have you seen the homes washed by the floods? While a mother tightly holds her child Do you hear the wind of the raging storm? Tell them where it's coming from Let us show Let us now sing our alma mater song to be led by our very own Don Bosco School Chorale. 